Welcome, I'm Hope Savara, and today's practice is Iron Flow Yoga, or Yoga with Light Weights. So what you'll need is you'll need a set of hand weights, um, one, two, three pound. Um, if you don't have hand weights, find something that has some sort of substance. I've heard of people filling water bottles with sand, soup cans, something along that nature, just to give you a little bit extra weight bearing. Also, if you have available, a weighted ball. If you don't have a weighted ball, same thing again, find something of some substance. Otherwise, double up on the hand weights and that will consist of just that extra little bit of weight. Finally, you'll need blocks. So if you have a yoga block, um, one or two or whatever you have available to give you a little bit extra height if needed. And then finally, a strap. So a strap or a necktie or even a long hand towel, something to be able to latch onto as needed. As a reminder with Iron Flow Yoga, we'll always hold the weights with the thumb and the fingertips extended. That way we're not going to have this death grip on the hand weight, pretty much just um, using extra energy that we could be using for the practice and to really help bring up that prana and that agni in our belly, that digestive fire, to help burn more calories and really start to heat the body up. We want to be able to um, honor modifications as necessary. As a rule of thumb, um, if necessary, drop the hand weights and just continue with the hand motions. And if any time you need to, stop all together and just take a break. I welcome you to a great practice. All right, so let's lift the feet a little bit wider than the outer hips. Toes will turn forward. Pelvic neutral. Bend your knees, let your hips tilt back. Hands to namaste. Nice. We'll do a few rounds without the weights, and we'll add the weights in. Inhale, arms come up. Hips go forward as you tip back. Exhale, swan dive halfway forward. Arms at two long spine. Inhale, reach towards your hips, pull back. Bend your knees heavy towards the floor. Inhale, roll up. Arms come wide. Hips move forward. Exhale, bend your knees back to center. Nice. Inhale, press. Engage your legs. Exhale, swan dive, and roll out to knees. Inhale, reach. Keep the arms alongside the ears. Exhale, bend and drop heavy to the floor. Inhale, roll up. And exhale, hands to prayer. Last one, then we'll have the weights. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, really lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knees and float down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, bend your knees, hands to prayer. Nice, and now straighten the legs and add the hand weights in. So grab hold of your hand weights, we'll hold hand weights with the thumbs, fingertips extended again. Fairly decent stride, toes are forward. Bend your knees, hips tilt back, hands to prayer. Inhale, four presses the weights up. Exhale, swan dive halfway forward. Keep the arm shoulder height. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees again, pull down. Roll up, arms pull wide. Inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer. Nice, inhale, press. Exhale, fully fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend and roll down. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more times. Inhale, press. Really focus on creating space. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees and down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Last one on your own. Exhale, hands to prayer. Nice. Inhale, straighten the legs. Walk the feet out to a straddle. Toes will turn out to the right and then in on the left. Level out the hips. Inhale, arms open the tea. Let's start with warrior two. So bend in the front and relax the shoulders. Open the chest, chest sweep. Exhale, back on forward. And inhale, come across the heart. Nice. Really feel the front foot planted and the back leg firm. Exhale, forward. And inhale, open one degree bend on that front elbow. Generous bend on the front knee. Exhale. And inhale, open through not just the arm, but the rib and the lung as well. Four more. Last one. Open towards me, arms open, inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, arms drop down to T. Nice, inhale. And exhale, really utilize the outside muscles of your legs, glutes. And exhale, inhale. Drop just a little bit deeper, nice inner hip stretch. And exhale, nice, breathe into your side lump. And exhale down. 
four more. Two. And last one. Arms to TV, but a little bit into the hips. Now front forearm to the thigh, minimal pressure. Top arm reaches up as the back heel pushes down. Let's drop halfway forward. So exhale, arm drops halfway in front and inhale, open. Really feel that front transversus and rectus contract as the arm drops down. Exhale and inhale. Keep rolling your torso open as the arm drops. Inhale, keep the load in the back leg. Pelvic floor engaging. Nice exhale. And inhale, minimal pressure on the front thigh. Exhale, use your obliques. Inhale, rise. Exhale, four more. Two more. Keep breathing. Last one. Inhale, back into warrior two. Let's straighten up the front leg. Front leg is firm. Trikonasana, reach forward and come down. Either hover with the weights, really utilize your core potential. Otherwise, use the bottom weight as a prop and roll the torso open, keeping the front big toe anchored, thigh muscle firm. Now lengthen your spine and press your back leg heavy. Inhale through the nose, either looking up, chin to shoulder, or exhale through the nose, looking down, chin to shoulder. No matter what though, move your heart up and out. Move your hips down and back. Nice. One more breath. Now inhale, back up into warrior two. Pause, exhale, deepen into the hips. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Feet go parallel, arms rise up. Hips go forward, exhale, swan dive. Drop into straddle, weights to the floor, arms behind chest expander. If you need to, grab that strap. Five good breaths. Firm legs, planted feet. Continue to keep your palm moving. One more breath. Exhale, grab your hand weight, slow bend in the knees, rise up, inhale, arms open to T, let's turn out with the left toes, in with the right toes. So challenge a nice deep stride, hips low, exhale, bend the front knee. Once you set up your stride, let's go with chest sweep. Exhale, back arm forward, and inhale across the heart. Keep that one degree bend in the front elbow so there's no strain in the joint, but also there's no tension in the shoulder. If necessary, drop that weight down anytime. Exhale, forward, and inhale, open. Nice. Feel the feet connect to the mat so you're not just resting on the floor, you're really trying to connect. Four more. Bend the front knee just a little bit more. Use warrior two as that hip opener. Two more. Last one. Now open towards me, torso, chest, and arms. Inhale, arms come up overhead, and exhale, deepen just a little bit more into the hips. Inhale, and exhale. When you lift the arms, think about breathing into the side lungs. And exhale, just the shoulder height. Inhale, and exhale. Nice. Here's your breath. Three more. Last one. Now deepen into the hips again, front forearm to the thigh, minimal pressure. Realign your lateral angle. So arm is reaching, leg is pulling, you're feeling that length of the side body. Exhale, arm drops forward, keep the arm plugged back into its socket. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down, inner transverse, it really scoops in here. So you're feeling that nice, strong inner core contraction. The stronger that deeper transverses can work, the less pressure you're going to feel on your thigh. Wherever you're looking with the eyes, no strain. Just welcome three more arm reps. Last one. Now inhale, draw yourself back up into warrior two. Exhale, deepen into the hips. 
Inhale, lengthen through the front leg. Toes should be pointing straight forward. Reach forward as you come down. Triple Anasana. So as we set up that front leg, point behind the big toe, point behind the pinky toe, point on the inside of the heel. So mark those three little dots and then fill in the black spot. And I want you to really anchor the foot. So it's an upside down triangle. Thigh muscle is spinning externally, so make sure you're not walking that knee. Now lift your heart as you draw your belly firm to really feel a good rotation. If you're looking up, commit all the way with the neck rotation. If you're looking down, do the same thing. Now lean your torso back and open your heart. Let's go three more breaths. Now on the next inhalation, an imaginary rope pulls you up. Inhale, exhale, nice deep warrior two. Inhale, windmill the arms to the floor. Step back into plank. Fingertips go wide, fold to the elbows forward. Lengthen your body, couple options with the feet. Knees to the mat, tops of the feet. So unrolling the toes, ankles towards each other. Tips of the big toes are usual that ball of the foot. So find what works. And now lift your transversus, so almost like you're tipping that inner belly up towards the sky just a little bit more. Commit your breath. Exhale, down dog. Adjust the footing, feet or hips distance. Spread the toes, rotate the arms, and lengthen out of your shoulder girdle. If you'd like to, alternate bending each knee for a walk the dog. So as you bend one knee, really press the heel down. And really take a close look at your ankles. When your heels press, notice if they rotate one way repetitively. See what happens if you try to adjust that. So remember again, our body will tend to go where we're the most open. So leave that even goes for how your foot drops. And now settle back into down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Open the hip high and open the chest, really reach the heel towards the ceiling, keep the weight even in the arms as you lift the leg even higher. Nice. Firm thigh muscle, firm breath, deep willing intention. Now on the next exhale, let's come into plank, knee into chest, so exhale, come forward, and inhale, open the hip back up, back into down dog, exhale, forward, and inhale up, exhale forward, and inhale up, two more, exhale forward, lift the heel and knee high, inhale, last one we're going to hold, so exhale, bring forward, let's hold four, three, lift your knee and your heel, two, one, now set the foot forward, runner's lunge, nice, grab your weights, high lunge, so ball in the back foot, arms come up overhead, Palms face in, sink your hips down subtly. So really focus on squaring the hips. As you find high lunge, front knee is over the ankle, back leg is pushing fairly firm to give yourself just that little bit extra groin stretch. Nice, let's open to T. So inhale, arms open to T, and then exhale, close alongside the ears. Nice, inhale, open, and exhale, close. Nice, so palms will face up, inhale, open, and exhale, close. Awesome. Keep breathing. Inner thighs engage as though you're hugging that imaginary piece of paper. Keep the feet firm. The breath consistent. Two more. Last one. Inhale, open the arms to T, palms face up, double arm bicep curl. Exhale, curl fingertips to shoulders, and inhale, extend out. So it's not just the weight coming into the shoulder, I want you to think about making that contraction, almost like you're pulling a resistance band. Scapula or shoulder blades contract in, but then they slide down, so you're not feeling a pinching, but rather just the upper back active. Exhale, contract, and inhale, keep the elbows wide, exhale, and inhale. Nice, keep breathing. Three more. Last one. 
Inhale, arms come back up overhead. Interlace the fingers, full lateral raise. Exhale, throw the weights down towards the front knee. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Nice, exhale, notice the amount of lift in your front ribs. So try to keep the front ribs relaxed and really lift and breathe through the side and back body. Steady legs, pressing back leg. Nice, inhale. Any sort of shoulder girl or shoulder issues, honor that. Inhale, arms come up overhead, reach. 
Exhale, lower the arms to the floor, step back plank. Regroup and plank. Let's roll into Vashisthasana. So roll onto your left palm, one or two weights into your right hand. So stack, stay here, or take a knee with that bottom foot. Press away from the floor, fold to the bottom elbow, turn to line with the middle finger. Now try not to keep all the weight on the heel of the hand. Shift just a little bit forward to get that weight into the knuckles, to so take strain off the wrist. Nice. Let's work with an elbow pull. Drop the top arm down in front, but without letting your torso round forward right now. Inhale, elbow comes up. Exhale, down, oblique comes up. Inhale, elbow. Exhale, think oblique. Inhale. Nice. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, anytime you need to, take a knee, inhale, and exhale, use your breath. Two more. Last one. Roll into plank. Pause. Downward dog. Exhale. Let's do 10 times down dog push up. Palms are grounding, inhale, elbows bend, and exhale, push back at an angle. Inhale, some really great work for the deltoids and traps, that upper back area, to keep your body from coming forward of your fingertips. Now firm your thigh muscles, and again, that deep transverses and pelvic floor picks you up and pulls you back. Let's try to go five more. Feel your breath against your legs. Feel your breath contract deep in your belly.
stay calm. Last one. Mindfully roll into plank position. Exhale, downward facing dog. 10 times down dog push up. Inhale, elbows bend. Exhale, firm legs and belly push back. So we keep the down dog frame. It's the elbows that bend. Notice your palm, thumb and pointer finger really pushing as the elbow bends. Nice. or one short, okay? So it's gonna be deep, short, deep, short. We're gonna do 10, so I'll come out loud here. So we will start with a deep and then go to a short. So we go one, and short. Two, and short. Three, and short. Keep breathing, four, think four, and short. Five, and short. Six, and short. Stay with me, seven, and short. Your breath is more important, eight, and short. You're almost there, nine, and short. Last one, 10, and short, inhale, right leg rises. Open the hip, press long through the shoulders. Exhale, swing the leg through runner's lunge. Nice job, grab your hand weights, warrior two. Awesome, let's bring the arms up overhead. Interlace the fingers, hold the weights behind you. Let's work with the triceps. So exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, pull your spine long. Nice, exhale a little bit deeper. Inhale, pull the spine long. Nice, outer thighs engaged, feet are planting. Commit to warrior two, then commit to the arm motion. motion. Keep the toes forward on the front foot. Keep the knee trying to contract out towards the pinky toe. Two more. Last one. All right, arms open to T, folded warrior two. Exhale, fold, front knee stays bent. Inhale, come up, arms come overhead. Little extension back as the hips come forward. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, rise up. No rounded spine, exhale. Keep the front knee grounded. Inhale, nice, exhale. You do not have to extend back. You can just bring the arms overhead. So work with whatever range of motion your hips will let you have. Nice. Nice. Exhale, arms to T. Inhale, up. Three more. Remember, our first priority is our breath. Last one. Exhale, hands to nose. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Let's turn the feet parallel. Exhale, fold, straddle. Drop your weight to the floor, chest expander, five breaths. An opportunity to reclaim your inhale, reclaim your exhale, reclaim your feet in the earth. Exhale, grab your hand weights, bend your knees generously, roll yourself to stand. Awesome, we got another side. Let's turn the toes out. You don't have class next week, guys. All right, level the hips. Bend the front knee. All right, firm back leg, arms open like an airplane. So relax the shoulders. Pause here, so just feel warrior two. Remember, breath, asana, then our movement. Front toes are going to be straight forward. So if you look at your front knee, you should always be able to see your knee on your inside of your big toe. Thanks. Now arms come up overhead. Readdress the openness of the torso towards me. Interlace the fingers, elbows turn in. So exhale, bend. Inhale, despine yourself, lengthen. Exhale, and inhale. Nice. Exhale, and inhale. Three more. Last one. All right, here we go. Arms open to T. Exhale, fold in warrior two. Inhale, rise up. Nice. Exhale. No gripping toes. Inhale. Just the connection of your feet 
and utilizing the strength of your legs to help your body rotate. Really deep hip work here. One leg is straight, one leg is bent. You have to create that mind-body connection. Move as slow as you need to, just be consistent. Think about what you're doing. Each side moves like its own. So just claim that awareness. We have three more. Here we go. Exhale, three. And up. Exhale, two. Keep the front knee bent. Last one. Exhale, hands to prayer. Straighten the front leg. Keep your up. Let's start bending your knees and walk it through. Nice. We'll just do it to that. a nice cool down here before we switch out to the handball. Toes nice and wide, palms forward. Just a simple bicep curl. Really focus on your breathing. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Firm legs. Exhale, pelvic floor strong. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Four more. Two more. Last one. Inhale, arms come up. Let your hips go forward. Nice little functional back bend. Exhale, hands to prayer. 